Welcome to another small talk for you. This morning we're going to continue in Faro and get a basic idea for the initial syntax of small talk and how things work. You've already understood based on the last tutorial how to get through doing small talk expressions, making them operate, and I'm continuing to go through the prof step thing here in Faro. First, let's take a look at numbers. So you have numbers are basic objects. It explains this up here, and you can highlight any expression like this, even just an object like two, and do something simple like a print it. Now, do it wouldn't do anything, but if I print it, notice it gives me back two. The more interesting thing about that is that any object in Smalltalk can be inspected and operated on. So you can always ask an object about itself, and there I asked it to print a version of itself, and of course two just prints two. Likewise, 20 factorial. How does that work? Well, if I do a do it, it's not going to do anything. Well, it's not going to visibly do anything, but it'll actually do the factorial. If I print it on the other hand, it will give me the answer. So you can see how that operates. So you can see various messages that I can send to objects. And I'm not going to go through the message precedence right now, but just understand that I can send messages to objects like factorial to a thousand, the divide to the result of that, and then divide by the result of all of this. So here again, I have parentheses. You might wonder, well, why do I have that? Well, it's just for visible representation here, although down here it's a little more crucial. Why do we have parents here? Well, this is because in small talk there's no arithmetic precedence. In small talk, there is a very simple set of precedence rules, and arithmetic precedence isn't part of it. So if you wanted to have the division happen before the plus, you have to put the parentheses in. And I'll get to precedence in a future screencast, but just keep in mind that arithmetic precedence is not part of the Smalltalk language. You can just go through this to get a basic idea for how things work, but in general what you should understand is that numbers are one of the fundamental Smalltalk objects, but they are objects. They're not some kind of primitive thing like they are in many other languages like Java or C Sharp. They are actually objects in the system that respond just like everything else. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.